and ready for God. Hmm? Secondly, we must always be prepared and ready for God for a father to experience God flexing his muscles. Now the deal is in, in verses, uh, I'll give a read to you three and four, that you never see that when God asked or told Abraham what to do, that he fought against God. Hmm? But in verse 4, it says, On the third day, Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place from a distance. Now, this is the thing. And I, I slowed up and I really dealt with this. Abraham had three days and three nights while traveling to change his mind on what God told him to do. All right. It says on the third day. Hmm? How many times God has asked you to do some things and you, you allow time, huh? You thought about it, and you thought about it, and you thought about it. Instead of you having faith in what God told you to do, yes. you said, I'm going to do it my own way. Yes. And when you did it your own way, you had a collision. Yes. 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 Did that mm -hmm. Do y'all know when we do things our way and not God's way, consequences come with it? By running. Verse 5, it says, Abraham said to his young men, I gotta deal with this, stay here with the donkey. And I and the lad will go over there and we will worship and return to you. Gotta deal with this. Notice that on the trip that Abraham has two of his servants. When he gets to the place where God told him to go, he tells his two friends to stay with the donkey. There are some people that have traveled with you far as they can go. Yes, yes. And, and the deal is, is because they have went far as they can go with you. You got to learn how to tell them to stay with the donkey. Everybody don't want to go far in God like you. And so and, and instead of giving up and losing the blessings that God has for you, trying to hold on to this friend, that friend, trying to hold on to Shalene, trying to hold on to Jim Bob, trying to hold on to him, tell them to stay with the donkey. our blessings because a lot of times we are, we're hanging out with people that are already defeated. Yes. Yes. I can do all things through Christ which gives me strength but I'm hanging around with weak folk that are already defeated. And tell me that child, what you doing? Well, I'm going to live this folk. No, I think I'm going to stay right here. I like Peter because when Peter was in that boat and Jesus was walking on the water, he said, Lord, There was some church folk in that boat that said, Peter, you crazy. <laughs> Do you see that water out there? <laughs> Jesus said, that you bid me to come out. The church needs more peace. Yes. 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 You got to have faith and you got to themselves to you. Yes. When somebody attached themselves to you and they take more out of you mm. than pour it in you. You, you got to learn how to cut loose. You, right. it, when, they, when they get in your car and every time they get in your car they ain't put no gas in your car but they want to hide around with you everywhere. They want to go out and eat but you got to pay for it. I said that. Boy, I said 
I say a bad word? No. <laughs> if they're not bringing something to deposit positively in your life, they're taking from you. Abraham was not going to allow these two to come with him because they would have discouraged him in doing what God told him to do. Yes. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed that, that you can have friends and some family, they can come around, you can have everything going for you yourself, and they come around and you just as broke and busted and disgusted as them?